Hello, brave, beautiful warrior soul friends. Happy rising, grand rising. Happy soul self Saturday. Saturday is the day where we exhale all the stress from the week and we breathe in the peace-filled sensation of who we truly are. And our identity and our experience are not the same thing, not ever, not once. Our identity is rooted in light and love and everything else is just surrounding experiences for us to learn from and grow through and extend love to. Soul Self Saturday is about getting back to our core essence. Who are we beyond the surface? Who are we beyond the feeling sensations? Who are we beyond the experiences? Who are we beyond the perceptions of what we are? Soul Self and Shadow Self have a very intimate relationship. Our shadow self is our human self. It's the part that feels a lot of stuff. It's a part that has a whole lot of ups and downs. It's a part that experiences life and tends to identify with those experiences. Soul self is the part of us that knows that we are something beyond our experiences. Soul self is always rooted in a divine stillness. Soul self has just this tranquil inner peace regardless of the circumstances, regardless of the emotional sensations brewing within. Soul self always sees the best in things, not in a blind optimistic way, but in a confident faith-based way of, I know this is hard and I know this is scary but I trust that it's somehow leading to some form of good for me. Soul self has a confidence where shadow self has fear. Soul self has a knowing where shadow self has doubt. And every human being has these two aspects playing within their inner being. And to heal, we get to unblend. We get to distinguish and differentiate between these two aspects of who we are and integrate the two. We get to allow soul self to nurture shadow, shadow self. We get to allow shadow self to be this raw, real, tangible sensation without being our entire identity. And we get to allow soul self to be something that gives us hope in the darkness, something that brings light through in the chaos. So Soul Self Saturday is all about just getting back to our core essence. Who and what are we beyond the surface, beyond the sensations, beyond the experiences, beyond the perceptions? And it can be tough work because shadow self dominates life most of the time, but it doesn't mean soul self isn't there. And so a few ways to just really embrace soul self Saturday are diving into nature, doing stuff that feels good in a soulful way rather than an ego-based way, celebrating the beauty around us, just diving into feelings um, and affirmations of love and gratitude and appreciation and celebration. Oh, doing some breathing exercises, just taking some deep breaths and relaxing into our being, celebrating our progress, embracing the present moment with peace and extending gratitude for the opportunities that have yet to come. And these vibrations can bring us healing. I remember a time where I had no sight of, of soul self. I, I couldn't get to a place where I even knew that soul self existed. Shadow self was the only real me I knew. It was the only sense of me that I was familiar with or aware of. And I would watch people on Instagram, like Christina Sutra is one example, and I'd watch her stories and I would just allow myself to feel a sensation of hope about where I could be in the future, about who I could be in the future. And I allowed that hope to carry me rather than drowning in whatever I was experiencing. I dared to use my imagination to float to potential better places rather than focusing on the only place that I was presently existing. And that was me planting seeds. I didn't even recognize it at the time, but that was me planting seeds to nurture soul self and allow for growth where I didn't even think it was possible. So find people who inspire you and hook on to that. 
Acknowledge where you are, but don't tell yourself that this is all that you are, the only place you'll ever be. Plant seeds of hope, plant seeds of life, light, plant seeds of love, plant seeds of appreciation and celebration and gratitude. Because even if that's not how we're naturally feeling, planting those seeds can help sprout feelings in future tomorrows that feel a little better than where we are right now. Planting seeds is one of the many aspects of personal power. Playfulness, presence, peace, potential, perseverance. We get to harness our power. Every moment holds power. Every moment holds opportunities. And we're allowed to tap into that regardless of how we feel, regardless of what's going on outside of us. Our power is within us, within our own energy. And we can nurture that energy. So happy Soul Self Saturday. Dive into nature, dive into some breathing exercises, dive into some playfulness, do some dancing, let loose, just get inside of your body in a playful, loving way and create space for the miraculous being that you truly are. Mm, sending you warriors the deepest love and the highest light. I love you. And you are worthy of the greatness that you have yet uh, to experience. Happy Soul Cell Saturday, everyone.